Chapter 3, Wortham's Woman. Hmm. Hmm. I'd love to take a seat, but I have to find Dad. Wortham Willows won the first election for mayor last week. This place is going to become a proper town under his direction, it is. It is said. I have heard that he comes from New England, where the clouds are black from industry. They say he knows what the proper town is. Oh, I just cannot wait to see what becomes of my home. The future is rich with possibilities. I have met men who came hundreds of miles to see me dance. It is flattering beyond all notion, but that is not the best of my news. The new mayor came to watch me dance this evening. I felt his eyes as he watched me, and it quickened my heart. He even sent me flowers over the show. The world is a dream, and I just hope not to wake up. I don't know how much longer I can take this torment. The efforts of my dear Claire no longer help me to soothe me when I am in the grips of my terrors. I have found myself awakened while sleep sleepwalking, and I seem to head to the same place every night. I head to where it happened, where my torments begin. Touches my fate, I shall burn in hell's fire. I know it to be true. I have sought the help of a holy men, and even their blessings cannot cure me of my affliction. I think it is time. I think at times it would be better for me to find the blackness I long for. Death whispers to me in my sleep, and I want to follow it. Hmm. Well, <laughs> worth the murder for to did it for you. Fleur la lue. And no, I've lo oh no, I've lost it. It's through the part of me is missing. Please go help me find it. Help me find my lost love letter. Wortham's words always work so well to soothe me. Okay. I met this lady who won't stop crying. Her name is Floor. I think she might be French, but I'm not sure. Her accent is hard for me to figure out. She keeps telling me she lost some love letter. She's very upset over it. I think she's being a little over dramatic, to be honest, but I guess I'll help her. I don't get why girls are get, go so crazy over love letters. Seems a little silly to me. How to say it? Tell someone you've never you've never got one before. <laughs> Clearly, I need to push that in one direction or the other, but I'm not sure where yet. Something clicked. Okay, I see now. Ah, I don't hold the button. Got it. Back here finally, huh? Got it. It's a cooker. Chef Smiraldo. Oh, he got knives in his face. Found a knife with blood all over it one day. Don't know where it came from. Figured it was from the kitchen, so I left it there. Well, you were stupid. This is not what a kitchen is supposed to smell like. It floats. Bloody knife. Who dies? Who lives? Sir. Yeah. 
is it looks like it's full of mold. That's not healthy. I do what I can to keep my relationship with Wortham interesting, but I worry that he no longer holds any interest in me. He's much colder and distant, where he used to be warm and loving, and while he will visit me almost nightly, I feel, feel a change has overcome him. I do not know what it could be that has caused such a change in the man I love so much. I can see lurking behind his eyes of intense anger, and I do not know where it comes from, nor how I went so unnoticed for so long. When he looks at me with those eyes, I become scared and unable to speak much, or even move. I fear what hides behind his irises. I hope he does not turn on me someday. He will. He will kill you. With the knife. Wow, look at all the wine. Mom sure would love it here. Oh, it's so I can cut things. I get it now, okay. I can go to the observatory now. So what would we need for dinner? We will need a tomato. We will need an avocado. Or both. Cutting and stabbing. Cut, cut. Wait, that's wrong. <laughs> no, stab, stab. Eh. All the same. Was there something here that I was gonna look at? No. This was not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to the other building. The, um... <sighs> Something. <laughs> this place. Yay for bloody knives. Curious what's in that green pot up there. I bet people like my dad have been hired to water these. Oh, I see bones. Hello. Alan Wood, I was left with quite the chip in my shoulder when my parent died requiring me to halt for my scholarly pursuit and run the family flower shop. It was only when my son crew grew weary of England and wished to be to seek his fortune that I left that dreadful career. And yet here I am, back at it again. It feels like an eternity. Alright then. The vines have entwined through the bones. Damn it. I know there was something out in the garden that I could cut through. Use the ghost power in the base. Can you do that? Uh, we can try. Nope. Nope, oh, maybe. Okay. Good call. If I had been more awake, I probably could think of that. <laughs> huh. I can almost smell the leftover perfume. Uh-huh. 
My dearest Floor, these past weeks have spent together have been but a blurry dream come true. When I'm with you, time flies so that the day seems to blend happily into one another. You make my heart feel so full as there is not to do but weep and thank God for your presence in, on this earth. But I fear people will talk behind our backs and my reputation will be besmirched. I must protect my good name. It is my livelihood. I'd like to propose you live with me, my love. It must be in secret, but it is the only way I can see for us to be together. And we must be together. We look in... We will communicate via secret messages, but these, but that's something to discuss the next time we meet. Until then, you are forever in my heart. Love, Fortham. I have taken interest in a young dancer named Fleur from the saloon I own in town. She is likewise interested in me, and I have begun my courtship of her. In secret, of course. As a town's mayor, I can't be seen with such a woman, and so I must keep her from prying eyes. I will hide her away here in the observatory so that only the servants know of her presence. She reminds me of Martha at times, the way she makes me feel, but I affirm it is nothing beyond mere whimsy. I cannot afford such a scandal. I will do whatever I have to in order to ensure my secret does not get out. Okay, he killed her. I bet that's what it is. That makes the most sense. Is that the love letter she wanted me to get her, though? It's a little depressing if it is. Me. Put yourself back in your body. Ice be make. This is not where I need to be. I went the wrong way. Freaking poltergeist. <laughs> Freaking poltergeist. You mean the ice maker? Yes. I am the only, only poltergeist in this house. Leaving every cabinet open. Well, thank you so much, Elena. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take this ring as a token of my appreciation. Wortham and I used to, to hide secret messages that could only be seen with it, but I do not need it anymore. You have helped me more than you know, Elena. Goodbye and sweet child. I hope you managed to find your father. Uh huh. Well, she's free now with her letter. Oh, she's gone already. I was getting, I was just getting to know her. Goodbye, Floor. You were, you were so lovely. I need to read symbols. Go to the wine cellar. Fancy! It's quite high tech for the old west. But very well. To the cellar we go. Where the murder will take place. Code is 3123. Code to what? Even though she's a drama queen, I'm glad I helped Flora find her love letter. Who'd have known she and Wortham were lovers in secret? Well, everybody, if you read the notes. I don't think I've ever see, seen anyone so happy over something so simple. I hate to submit it, but it's a little bit touching. She was so overjoyed. Wortham seems like a bad guy, but if he, he made her so happy at one time, can he really be that bad? It's hard for me to believe anyone is pure love. I don't know. It just makes me wonder. Okay, but where's the... Where's the code? What is the code to?
I remember there being like a door that was like covered in vines. I didn't make false memories maybe, but I never remember. I recall these things. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh -huh. I wasn't wrong. I've seen this guy around here. I wonder who it is. A, f a frog? Something. Philo. No, no, I'm not a ghost. My name is Philo, and I'm no, I'm no mere phantasm. Like you, I'm searching for something. Broken window in the in a high room. Do well to pass by this place in gloom. And what do you want? Okay, so I a broken glass in a high room. Nothing else back there. So it gave us a hint, though. Something about broken, ooh, broken glass in a back room, or a high room. Right, right. Probably be important later. All right, we have left the Garden of Terrors. No one likes the Garden of Terrors. All right, so we're looking for broken glass on a high room. Now, does it mean in the mansion? Does it mean in the observatory? Does it mean in? <sighs> I guess we'll check everywhere. And then back to the mansion. Unless I meant this, but I doubt it. That's not a high room. Broken windows. Not broken glass. All right. My, my guess is it's gonna be in the mansion, but... Oh no. Excuse me. I gotta remember not to look that way, because then I get that light in my eye and I'm like, I can't see. to run in circles again. So, high room, broken glass, maybe I just fly up there? Oh. Oh, aha! Philos. Will he kill me if I don't move?
He's just following me, I guess. Will he follow me out here? No. So what was the point of that? That I found a ghost? Any other broken windows? I'm trying to think of what I was supposed to do. just like chilling with me so I don't know if I need to go tell Philo he's here or something maybe I need to get him in a bucket I can do with them though. So my only guess is I gotta go tell Philo about it. But I'm still also looking for something to mic that code in. Three. Yeah. Three. Oh. Well, that could have been made more obvious. Uh oh, something evil's here. Oh. Hello. It has been some time since I moved my belongings to the Willow's Mansion to be closer to Wartham. We must love each other beyond closed doors, as he cannot afford a scandal in the town as the town's mayor. He even made a special room for us to be together. He's such a kind, smart man. He invented a way for us to leave each other messages that no one else can read. We make us, we make us in, make of invisible ink, and he gave me a ring with a symbol on it. We carve this symbol into the wall to signify messages there. The servants have yet to catch on to our system. I must admit how exciting it all is. How much fun I've had these past few months.
There's something amiss with Darby. He has become stark writhing mad. He was a coward before, which I could only vaguely stomach, but this is over this is over much. He came to me in my office rumbling incoherently. He sat himself down with his hands on his head, and he told me he was cursed, that he was haunted by the little girl he'd killed. I care not for the ravings of a madman nor his company. I'm trying to become the mayor of this town. No one will elect a man who keeps the company of a lunatic. Something must be done about Darby and soon. Oh my... I have been wondering about evil lately. Where does it come from? What does it look like inside a person? I believe it now, seen as firsthand. I saw flickering shadows moving about in cages and I thought it was going crazy first, but no. What I saw was real. I know it in my bones. I could feel the darkness that shone from these creatures, like some inverse sun, like a black hole. These things make me feel worthless, hopeless, and sad. I think they come from inside us. I think we all have these demons. I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to find my dad. There's a broken mirror. Is there an unbroken mirror in this whole place? Probably not. The revolution of this com country's great industries has made for leaps in our technology and understanding of the world at large. That dotard of a shaman told me all these years ago that the place is spiritually potent. I shall find a means of bending that to my will. With the use of science and with God at my side, I will once again see my Martha. I have sought preachers and monks and other holy men to dense, cleanse my spirit, but no pursuit nor... Any amount of money does a bit of good, but I have heard the whisperings in shadowed places of ancient esoteric means to attain what I seek. My hands are already stained with blood, my soul tainted with rot. I shall delve into the occult, tear through the existence, and see what lies beyond. I have already read some of the books and gotten a taste of what is to come, but I need more. I will not stop until I have what I desire. What a cool old sewing machine. Such a rainbow my myriad of spools, so pretty. Spending time here has grown me more sensitive to the spiritual world and not just on the mansion's grounds either. I can feel the pull of the spiritual world as it calls to me in my sleep. I catch wisps of my wife's dreams as they enro encroach on my own. I wake each morning feeling as though my spirit has traversed the universe. I can see the light that glows within the core of each person I meet. I love looking at Elena that way. She shines like a small sun. I'll have to teach her the ways of our people someday, when she's old enough. I've already shown her the basics. She meditates with me daily, but she doesn't know what it means yet. How many burges? Burges. Bird cages. I tried, okay? Burges. Nothing creepy about this place, nothing at all. Marcy Devite, young Master Marcus must eat. Yes, he must. I must find him so that he may be fed. Growing boys need their nourishment after all. killed everyone. Would not be surprised. Is that a door over here? It is. Okay, cool. Right. Re Reginald Kingsley. Yeah, he should be with that name. The, everyone, every, the evening piece is soon to be served. Please do wait. Master Willows will be alone promptly. Will he? I see a door there, but let's check up here first. Hmm. 
and the door is locked. This is chapter three, I think. I have been through the pages of every book I could find. I have performed the ancient rites and con conducted the appropriate sacrifices. I have uttered the words and prostrated myself to unknown old gods whose names have been lost to time. I can feed the fl I can feel the floodgates tremble at my approach, but I cannot yet see them. I must find them and break their their free of their chains. Only then shall I bathe in the nether and be free to once again see Martha. I, com I must commit myself more wholly to this than to anything else, even life itself. These aren't books. What a strange selection of items. Dad, don't worry. I'm here to save you. Elena, please no. Little girl, he's mine now. Ouch. 